one day I was just my mom was sleeping on the bed and I just took my pink school bag I took it and I put some few clothes just two three clothes so I had some money and then the guy I was dating then assisted me with a little cash I didn't tell my mom I didn't tell my dad just like that so when I got to Ghana I when I reached I had to just stay by one side and I buy I bought sim card I called my dad then when I called my dad my dad was like he was very surprised like you know that kind of feeling ah, this will pick you know wish there because Ghana? yeah then I was not even really that big it was like how do you manage but mm. I love my father because he's not going to judge, judge you. you okay I'm calling my sister right now so he called him his elder sister because he's the last one okay. so he called his elder sister I was like please my daughter is here that I I want someone to pick her for me and he sent the number to me so I called so there there, won't, there wasn't really hearing what I was saying but we managed so they had to come and pick me Oh, they came all the way from Cape Coast. Yes. Get yes. Okay. They had to come and pick me, and when they picked me, when I went home, when I when I stepped my foot into my hometown, mm. when I saw the place, like I saw when I looked at my auntie, I can just practically see my father's picture there mm. in the woman's form. Like they mm. look so much alike, the walking step, the smile, everything. I was like, this is my father, hmm. but in a lady's body. Well, I was very, very happy. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to another episode of Seeing Ghana Through the Eyes of Others. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lily, and I have this beauty here in the building today. Born to a Ghanaian father and to a Nigerian mother, packed with lots of life lessons. She is going to take us through her journey, born in Nigeria, and how she made her way to Ghana to come look for her family in Ghana. So please, can we meet you, ma'am? I'm faithful Sorry. by name. Mm. Um, I'm a Ghanaian. My dad is a Ghanaian, and my mom is a Nigerian. Madam, what is I'm a Ghanaian? You're a Ghanaian, Nigerian. What is this? I'm Are a... you kidding me? I don't understand. Like, she be, she, be, okay. she, she be on a way did the Nigeria on a detox. Hey, now from the father like this side. Like this, we born picking finish. Hey, 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 okay. No, well, this part I go post now, sha. Oh, I don't know for you. I'm a Ghanaian. Okay. Fully Ghana blood. <laughs> but my okay. mom is a Nigerian. Okay, so uh, where were you born? Were you born in I, Ghana? I was born in Nigeria. <laughs> okay. I was born in Nigeria. I grew up in Nigeria, Port Harcourt. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I'm a Port Harcourt girl. I really want to know, you know your life is full of lessons for a lot of people out there that are going through this journey. So tell us a bit about your childhood. My childhood was, it was full with so much drama. Okay. <laughs> so there was a time I I used to be hiding in the wardrobe and I don't know the reason why. Probably it's because of my dad. Later I get to find out that it's because of my father. So whenever my dad comes to look for me, they will hide me in the wardrobe. And mm. when he leaves they <laughs> Then my mom will bring me out. I don't know why. So there was a certain period of time when he came and it was like she was not aware he was coming. Mm -hmm. And we were like some other kids outside in the compound, not this public yard mm -hmm. in Nigeria. Hey, just the outside, just the play. play. Hey. So a young man woke up to us, he mm -hmm. called me out and he was like, Where's your mom? Go and call her. So my mom is a very popular person. So I went inside to go and call her that someone is looking for you. And when she came out, she was like, she just had to take him inside. And I said, yeah, some arguments, but as a child that I am, that I don't really know what they Yeah, you they were busy minding your business. Yeah, they mind my business. And I was hearing some voices. Then just the argued their normal arguments. Argument. So we were just playing outside. And when he came outside then he called the kids and he started giving everybody five five hundred then he gave me one thousand naira notes okay then i my i saw my mom i was like mommy that is my father and she was like shut up your mouth so <laughs> they that your father be that your father don't die for river because that's what she always say all so these typical of, women all the places okay your mom is evil yes where is she from abia state oh, wow of all the places 
I mean, of all the places in this world, why did your mom choose the river to tell you that your dad died in the river? Why? Oh, because he works, oh, he really? drives boats. Yeah, oh, so really? she will always tell me, your father don't die for river, that she'll shut up my mouth. I don't know why Igbo, Igbo mothers, they always want to do all these things. Okay. Yeah, to my mother. I don't know the reason why, as, as a woman, maybe you give birth, you hide the baby from the father. Despite whatever you guys have been through, that is not the baby's fucking yeah, maybe, business. Yeah, um, maybe. Yeah, I know that is not the baby's business. It's not. But maybe because he's a foreigner from another country. Time, were they um, officially married or no, they were no, dating? No, no. no, no, they're no not, they were not married. Yes. And she never been to Ghana. Mm -hmm. He is natural. Maybe he was just afraid that maybe he takes you and run away and he will never see you again. So because of all these things, she always tells me that hmm. uh, my father is dead, all this kind of stuff. When I finally get to meet the man, I got to know that he's a nice person. My father is is, is, is is very loving. I love my father. I love my mother. But I'm more open to my father than my mother. Yeah, I see that all the time. Anytime we meet, I always you talk always about, about your my dad. father. And in my presence, you have called your dad many times. <laughs> but I'm yet to hear you talk to your mom. But I know you guys talk. <laughs> but I'm yet to hear you connect with your mom. And, because, and that is why you are here. And because my mom is a very strict person. You know you, um, it's just like the Nigerian people, they always do this thing. You Nigerians, you guys are always strict. Okay. I don't know why you are always strict. Like, you don't want your children to flow with you. Okay. It really like the Nigerian parents, they do that thing where we're like, I, I can't, I, I feel scared to talk to my mom. Okay. If maybe there's something I did bad, mm. or maybe God forbid, I'm, 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 maybe police won't arrest me, or I did something bad. Mm. You can't I can, I can, open up to your mom. Yes, I can feel free to talk to my dad and my mom. Okay. Because my mom be like, ah uh ah. -uh. Eh, she will join instantly. You. Why are you going to do that kind of thing? Eh, this weekend, uh, yes, but my dad, he will be like, he wants to calm me down. Mm. He wants to encourage me. You understand? I think maybe it's because of he came from the other part of the world. Because okay. this, 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 now you are insinuating that Ghanaians are gentle I feel than so. Nigerians. I feel you so. see, I'm twisting my mouth. <laughs> this guy I, go, no, 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 this no. guy go collect. Oh, you guys, I will deal with. <laughs> I feel so, okay. please, uh, in the comment so section, so. let's know if you have a strict Nigerian parents because Nigerian parents are really yeah. strict. Well, well, like, because I don't really... have a Ghanaian parent, I wouldn't know. <laughs> but the truth is, my mom is like that. Very judgmental and never supports. When you tell her something, she'll like, she'll crucify you very before you even finish talking. So I get you. Okay, very but I don't judgmental. know if it's because she's a Nigerian. It's because or, there's no other thing. No, they see insult. There's yeah. no other thing because. So due to that, you became hungry to meet your dad. Yes. So how did you guys reunite? How did it happen? I have some flashback to my. Okay, past. that's fine. Yes. So. After that day, he keep on coming and he'll come and give me some certain things. All these children, children, they will make us the happy, all this mm, caprice song. Yes, make me feel special. My dad, uh, whatever he wants, he's ready to buy it for you. Okay. Then you can see that this guy is really trying to pave way into his daughter's life. But mm. he, he, he actually did that because he won my heart. Okay. He was there for me. Now, you said your dad left when you were three years old and then he came back when you were 12. Yeah. You came back when you were 12? Yes. Did your mom tell you anything? Any time I asked her, why is you and this my father, why are you guys always crying? Because my mom and my dad, they cannot stay inside this room for, minute. for 30 minutes without mm. you hearing, minute. even till date. Okay. Even till date. Yeah, I think you they can't... are still very much in love. Yeah, Sorry yeah, they are love. very much yeah. in love. Yeah, <laughs> but you cannot hear them stay inside this room. Like, mm. for instance, they are together now. Just leave them here and look like you're going they outside. Are together. You know when... It's just like you are you you still love someone but you can't have them yeah. because none none of these two like nobody is ready to swallow, <laughs> their, to swallow pride, their pride yes. to apologize and be the fool to for the for sake for one. the sake of yes. peace. So the best way to console themselves is to, to stay argue. Away. Ah. Why is that? She always correct my father. Mm. What's the problem? Why is, say I should leave that one? That this man, no, mm, now they mm, like broken past themselves. Mm. This man, he left me when I when I got like when I gave it to you. Okay. And you were three. Then he left me. He told me he's going to see his mother, okay. and um, he gave me twenty thousand naira. Then he left and he never came back. See, after ten years, then I was uh, I was I was I was twelve when he came back. So when he came back, he's coming to meet me. 
that she'll forgive him. The, the major problem is she was she's talked she's talked about she always bitterly talked about this um, certain church um, this part life okay. that always come that, that that came one certain period when she wasn't in the house and preached for my father and ever since then his brain turned anti clockwise okay. like 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 she, she the, if you see when my mom narrates this thing mm. you, you feel for her yeah. she was like she was like ever since then this my father had heard the work before, but as a preach, he stopped to work. Like that, he do, she doesn't he doesn't behave like the person she knows before, and that church of a thing practically pulled them out. Okay, now if I want to sound, it would be like I'm antichrist. You see me, I'm not a big fan of religion. You see this religious way of life, yeah. <laughs> escream, escream. I'm a believer of Christ, but it hurts me when people allow that to overcrowd their life because now he has a responsibility, which is you. So what is the relationship between abandoning a child because you want to avoid sinning yeah, with the mother because of that. to you mm. wanting to make it to heaven? What is there? Like, do you get? So, but then when he, when he left, because he got born again mm. and left, to Ghana because he didn't know how to just push her away. He just thought that he wants to go to Ghana. Yes, to because he doesn't want to be Continue with her. sinning. Yeah. So he was always seeing my mother as a sin. As Maybe a sinner. Yeah, yeah. She, 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 no, not even sinner. Sinner is different. She, she's a sin. Like oh. he, she coming to him. He, now, yeah, he's, she is. She's the sin. She's the sin because there's no way you keep man and woman inside the house. Mm. So she's practically avoiding that sin. Okay. which is my mother so my mother keeps seeing herself as a sin and she maybe it makes her feel bad yeah, maybe he, like he makes her feel bad which he wasn't supposed to do okay now your dad reconnected with you he bought a phone you guys started talking you said there was a day he took you out to buy your shoes and they were calling him because they were yeah. afraid that he have taken you run away to Ghana. yeah that's one particular day like i said earlier mm -hmm. When I saw some certain shoes, you know, these small children lifestyle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was passing, so I decided to buy it. I mm. don't have the money. I have to call my father that come and buy How it for me. How did you call him? Like, yeah, he gave me phone. He bought phone. I was even the only child using phone that period. Because he, 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 want, guy. he wanted bad me guy. to always talk to him. My father, okay. my father, I'm his queen. Okay, he, whatever. Yeah, he, he treats me like a princess. Mm. So, for that. Shout out to you, Daddy. So, which part of Ghana is your dad from? I'm from Cape Coast, Abanzi, precisely. I'm a fancy. Okay. After all this hiding you in the wardrobe, trying to convince you never to think anything about your dad, how did you make it to Ghana? Did your dad stole you at some point? That's okay. Let's go to Ghana. How did it happen? Why are you here? It's it's not really like I'm always supporting my father. Okay. But. Um, I just feel we connect. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. So uh, before my, I didn't tell you before, my when my dad left to Ghana, mm. and my mom was with me. When she left me in her hometown to stay with her auntie. Okay. Then over a year she brought me back. So there was there was some certain lady that took me in, me and her. Me and her brother, she took us in and started taking care of us. Aww. So, shout out to her. Aww. My one and only Otoni Dagogo, I greet you, mommy. God bless you, ma. God bless you for everything you've done for me, all the love, all the favor, everything, everything. You're one in a million. Mm -hmm. She's the one that took me in and started taking care of me. Taking care of, she took care of us like our own. Like, if you come to the house, you wouldn't know that. She's not your mom. Mm. So. She, so she was taking care of me to mm. some certain extent I had to leave the house because of not because of her because she's the best not because of her but because of the people it that has her. come to stay okay. in the house so the heat was too much the bully was too much I was very happy so when I went to my mom's place although where I was staying was very big but when I went to my mom's place I saw where she was staying this same um, face me mm, I face you compound house, but public, it's, it's, yeah. it's my mother I was not mm. really used to that because I was suffering from small but while growing up I became exposed because, because now of, living yes, with that Mrs. living Dagogo, yeah Mrs. Her? Dagogo mm -hmm. so I was living with her so I became more exposed so me coming back to that place I was like but she's my mother and i can i always pick where my mom stay yeah. so i left the house so i started staying with my mom and after sometimes i would go and stay with my father 
Then when I, my father make me vest, I stayed with my mama. Mm. My mama make me vest, I stayed with my papa. Na so, so I was staying with my mom when I actually ran to Ghana. <laughs> so your dad, did your dad at any point told you, why don't you run to Ghana? Or how no. did you come? How did no, you, why? No, no. One day I was just, I always ask my dad, I want to go to Ghana because me and my dad will always gist and he'll be like, Ah, Ghana things cheap, oh, then no be now. Mm. Now they tell me that time, like, no, no, say, nah, things not expensive. Mm. <laughs> he would tell me, ah, my daughter, don't worry. Then I was writing my wife, be like, oh, you go to Ghana, you go and school. Okay. And yeah, he's going to take me there, so I'll go and school there. Once I like to school, I'll be like, I like to, so I want to, you know, now, mm. you as a mm. child growing up, yes, your father from Ghana, you go yeah, like one visit. visit I, I was thing. eager to, to meet, to grandma, meet my grandma, like, yes, because my I didn't get to meet my grandmother from my mother's side. Okay. So I, I, I wanted that feeling. So one day I was just, my mom was sleeping on the bed. And I just took my pink school bag. I took it and I put some few clothes, just two, three clothes. So I had some money and then the guy I was dating then assisted me with a little cash. I didn't tell my mom, I didn't tell my dad. So I just entered road, just the car. Just like that. So when I got to Ghana, I when I reached, I had to just stay by one side and I buy, I bought SIM card. I called my dad. Then when I called my dad, my dad was like, he was very surprised. Like, you know that kind of feeling. Ah, this will be no wish there because You're in Ghana? yeah. Then I was not even really that big. He was like, ah, how do you manage? But mm. I love my father because he's not going to judge, judge you. you. You always look for the yes, next the solution. Yes, the next like, solution. He will you. never tell you that. Why? You know, we will not get mm, straight to one day. Yeah, your dad never judge uh, you. Yes. So he asks you, he will just how did you get to Ghana? Okay, get fine. To that? Uh, fine. He won't even wait for your response. We're like, fine, you're in Ghana. Okay, I'm calling my sister right now. So he called um, his elder sister because he's the last one. Okay. So he called his elder sister. I was like, please, my daughter is here. That I I want someone to pick her for me, and he sent the number to me, so I called. So there there won't there wasn't really hearing what I was saying, but we managed. So they had to come and pick me. Oh, they came all the way from Cape Coast. Yes, to yes. Okay. They had to come and pick me, and when they picked me, when I went home, when I when I stepped my foot into my hometown, mm. when I saw the place like. I saw, when I looked at my auntie, I can just practically see my father's picture there mm. in the woman's form. Like, they mm. look so much alike, the walking step, the smile, everything. I was like, this is my father, mm. but in a lady's body. I was, like, I was very, very happy. And then when I went into the room, I saw my frame. I was like, ha. My oh, picture. You had a picture of you. Uh, really. Yeah, I was like, my picture don't reach this place. You I, even more yeah, I was I wasn't even aware of it. I was like, wow, my picture don't reach this place. So I think maybe that time he came back, he came to do some frame more. Okay. I don't know. I just yeah. don't know how. Okay, when he, when, you know, the first time you and your dad connected, he came back to Ghana after yeah. that. Okay. Okay. So he came to make some frame mm. and he, he kept even the frame is in there till today. Mm. So when I saw it I was like, Wow, I liked it. I I love the feeling. It's 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 good. I, I like him. So but the, your father family they, they received you, they received Yeah. They your dad Ghan has a Ghanaian name. What's his Ghanaian name? His name is Kweku. Okay. Kweku Bedu. So they are very free. Ghanaians are very they are very free, they are very loving. Just just know your boundaries. Okay, so now who are you telling? Is it me? You are I'm telling. I'm telling the Nigerians you are in Ghana. Me, are you good? <laughs> My advice to to single mothers or mm. women out there, uh, because some people are having relationship problems right now. Mm. You never can tell. So my advice to you is. Please and please don't choose because of any issue to separate your daughter or punish yourself thinking you're punishing the baby's the father. father to take care of the baby and later the baby will go back. Don't just do that because okay. you're as as this word is now. Mm -hmm. Now before we if, if you was, carry picking, you know some people don't understand picking. Yes. Because it's not just applicable to Nigerians, other people uh, mm -hmm. okay, it's before. People do that. Mm. Right now, 
these days of these social media, days of social um, media telephone, the days of the, the world entirely mm. has gotten to another site of the exposure world is not like a small yes it's now as it has gotten to so there's no how you can hide a child and say, okay, you will hide in our case you came to ghana all by yourself all by myself arrogantly called your dad from here ah, he i had to even stay here till one week before i called and when i called what was the affair eh this guy Okay, you mm. stayed a week before you called her. Before I called her. And she was... How did she? She was... My boyfriend had to call me that he have to call your mom. He was the one that practically begged me for me so to even call, call her because I wouldn't have called that. So he was like, she has come to his house separately to harass him that she is going to arrest him because he knows where her daughter is and she can't provide her daughter. So I had to call her that I'm fine. That's the more reason I called her. I was like, I'm fine. I'm in Ghana. She was like, ha, ah, this is speaking. She was. She would have think my daddy took me, but my daddy is in Nigeria with her, so she didn't even mention him. She wish they push me for Ghana. Now the same Ghana now we meet they live since well, yes confirmed mm. yeah because since i've been staying in ghana for over many years now i can't even count like so, over past um six years or so wow i've been in ghana and so it means that you came to ghana when you were only 20. yes so i came very young your dad where is mr kweku right now <laughs> he's in nigeria he's still in nigeria yes yeah, so yeah like he stays where were you you said you were born in potako right yes so your dad is in potako right yeah now. he stays there is it okay? Do you think he, he, is it okay? Like from your own point of view, I know that you love your dad. <laughs> like you're so partial when it comes to two of no, them. No, no, no. I love my dad and my mom. Okay, yeah, but you you love your dad. I know. So, do you think is okay in Nigeria, or you want him to come back? I don't know for him. Everybody. No, but do you think he's okay? Like the way he's being treated, do you like it? My dad is okay in Nigeria. Okay. I feel maybe he has taken day as his home. My dad is, is very much okay in Nigeria. I don't even think he's planning to come back to stay here. Okay, so your dad got, yeah. your dad got married finally after yeah. many years. Yeah, now, he just got married four years back. I was here when he told me... He came to Ghana to marry a Ghanaian woman, right? No, no, no. I begged him Take to get wife. married because... When they were doing all this, a saga of mm. I no go do, I no go do, I no go do. Then I was coming up so I can now understand. So I was like... Mom, so my auntie will be like, please beg your mom. You're the only one that can settle this. You know, saying that so then they believe that time. That's how mm, they normally mm, believe mm. that period that a, a child can settle their parents together. Mm, mm. So I, I, I will go to meet my mom. I will beg my mom. I will cry. I say, mommy, I want you to stay with my father. So you have. She'll be like. She will, my mom will just come here and she will laugh. That woman, she don't just see us at yeah, all. Because, <laughs> yeah. yeah, because she I don't know how Maybe to... I don't know how, because she always tell me one parable, that person where we are shoe. You know, know where, where they pay Like, so, yeah, yeah, sorry, in case you don't understand that, like, mm -hmm. the bearer knows where it hurts more. Yes. Like, you that wears the shoe, you, you know, know where, where it, it hurts. hurts you more. Because I don't understand why, even if I'm your mom, I won't take him back. Yeah. Why? Yes. Because like, I don't understand why someone that. will go born, will go born again and then what is born again has to what has, what has this got to do with you being there for your child so you coming back because i believe you he was always he was there for you after 10 or 11 freaky was, years of your mom me. or nine me. years of your mom so hard i mean solely taking care of you so he came back but i'm happy you reconnect with your dad there are a lot of or others here on youtube we have been reached out by some girl reached out to me i won't mention her name she had been on my comment section i used to delete that comments especially during the issue of messy johnson and the rest when i was talking about it the girl was begging me lily please this is my last chance of getting to see my nigerian father my Ghanaian mom mm. children that mothers keep so close mm. they have a way of getting out they, they get out of hand this yeah. one like she wants to breathe she's telling me lily please help me i want you to help me look for my dad he's a nigerian my Ghanaian mom have practically had um hidden me and my nigerian my and my sister from my my father. my father she have been lying to my dad that we are dead please lily can you help me i don't want to get involved you yeah get it? single mothers you guys should just especially that. yeah you see you guys should stop that it's not i don't it's not funny yeah me i will hear people tell me hey don't talk to that guy if he gives you money don't collect or don't take you know people will advise us as single mothers to be angry do you understand because when you are not angry with your baby daddy you still collect money from him people don't look at they they don't think you have you're okay 
but those people that don't think you're okay when you collect money from them when your child is out of school and you can't afford to pay the school fees do they give you the money they won't give you they just so want why to be why angry. and then later they will label you a bitter ex so the best thing to do advise them yeah i feel most of this thing most of the thing is um it's some people doesn't know how to let go okay there's one thing to forgive and there's other thing to yeah, let exactly go. me i may not yeah. take you back but i'll forgive and allow you access to your child but this one of holding a child like chicken yeah like hands and i feel maybe why um why parents why is mostly out there that they are single parents is because of letting go no it's not letting true. go has yeah letting go has like part of the majority yeah, like when you let go like like for me like for me for instance i don't have you know now i don't have a problem with my baby daddy you get it but i feel like every opportunity you give him so he now use it to embarrass so so me, so now me. so now if your your baby father comes and say i want us to pick up the pieces of our life mm. and let us start from where we stopped how how what would be your response <laughs> baby girl hey That's okay for me <laughs> okay what i would do if my baby daddy comes back and wants yes. me see i'm interviewing this girl this girl have turned to interview me no 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 i just, hey, want, that, okay. I just, I just want that answer because it, it, it's hmm. necessary okay for me in my own case it's, it's different from yours yes. like your the case of your dad and mom That's what I'm saying. your dad and mom your dad was not attached to another woman when he came back and wants you leave in my case woman. okay i should no, no, i should no, give this answer for me there is no pieces answer. because about her okay and give me your own answer is yeah for me now? He's, he's not married, married but he's so living with a woman who is anything. desperate for a husband i feel like if i should take him back i'm being unfair to the other woman who wants him i like her life depends on it just don't talk about the other woman focus on yourself because this was you see only, it's not every Every, it's not every yourself. every one of us that has the um for me i'm not that strong enough to cause my fellow woman pain intentional pain but like, you're not causing her pain yeah she but, the one causing you pain. yeah but me i'm taking it because i believe that one day the will of god will prevail so what if the will of god was for you guys to be together would yeah, i don't think if back? it's the will of god for us to be together we won't struggle you understand we yeah. won't struggle it would have happened naturally but you so that's why i always talked about the the letting it go mm. a man will always want to make you angry uh, that's yeah. why we are mostly stronger than men by by nature of men fighting okay they have physical strength. physical have strength emotional yeah strength. we we are more stronger and, than them okay. they don't have that strength that we have so when your guy offends you and he comes back to you beg you all to like maybe even if say you want you want to make a um, guy as a normal no, woman way you but be, do your guy but let's don't be and so you won't have to deal with this but most of the time is when these people came back in the name of reconciliation or reunion they are not coming back to fully be with you they are coming back to destroy what was left you understand i have seen a lady who her husband her baby daddy who said he want to marry her then after she got pregnant he, he, he abandoned her then when she gave birth he came back uh, when she gave birth he came back and said he want to be part of the baby's life right and she allowed him and then co-parenting and then later he now said she's free to move on with his with her life that he's not marrying her again so another guy came into the picture and she accepted why not she was ready to settle down when baby daddy realized that she's about to settle down with another lady i mean with another guy he quickly came back came back and said he wants to marry her he wants his family back and she accepted and this the other guy and then after that the moment baby daddy baby daddy realized that they are no more together he dump her again so this is it you understand okay because some relationships are best to not repair don't try to repair but it, in all of this it still doesn't mean that the child should be affected in any way no 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 mm -hmm. that's it so if you are if you have a child with someone from another country don't always be afraid that they will run away with that child give you them exposure just be focused on being a good parent parents you your child to, will remember you remember you she won't it. yeah because whatever like the way i'm i'm talking every time about my father you're talking about your dad your, pa your, your daughter or your son me each time yeah. the truth is you know i've told you you know i've told you before apart from <gasps> saying this in front of the cameras yes. i said the way you are close to your father the way you are you identify more with ghana than with nigeria it scares me 
because I also, you know about Wendy, so I also feel like maybe this Wendy is going to be same. me in future. I will be left alone. My, did I leave my mom? No, not alone. But I feel like I feel like eh? I'm more to my father. Yes, but is this some of them that they are here? <laughs> you yeah, still feel jealous on behalf of your mom. This is the truth. This is how I truly feel. I feel like she have told you now. I say, hey, God. So after all this, look at me. So you know how it is sometimes. Don't just hide them because most people are daughters. You see, you see, that's how nature kept it all. Okay. You see, women, women, they are women, more closer they are to, to their, their fathers. fathers. And men are more closer to their mother. There's no how you hide a, a, a man from okay. his Okay, now we have blamed the women. Back. We have talked about them because we seem to be more the people. About the women. Yeah, we seem to be, yeah, as if we have focused more on the people that do that the most. Mm -hmm. But what about men that abandon their kids? Yeah. Advise them, please. <laughs> Give them. <laughs> men. Men, they don't advise men. The only time men get advice is when they are in trouble, right? Yes, they don't advise men. So when you say advice men, they won't listen. Okay. Even if they come across the channel, they will only sigh and pass. They won't listen to it until you. They fall into the trouble. They fall into the temptation. Yeah, they, they will start looking for a way to go out. out because some men. I feel you shouldn't be scared. Why are you scared of responsibility? Uh, God, do you know that some people are looking for child and God doesn't give them child? Mm. Not because they are not capable of taking care of that child, but God decided to give you a child to you. out of your carelessness and you feel maybe God is not wise to give you that child. So why, 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 why run away or why abandon or why wanting to take out the baby simply because you cannot afford? Mm. God is giving you that thing. He's giving you resources for okay. it. That's one thing people don't know. If God is giving you that thing, he's giving you resources to it. It might be hard at first, but with no, time... I hear, a lot of the time, I hear people tell me, okay, with time, it gets better. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Come it's, it really gets better with time. That's one thing. Trust the process. It really gets... It can be very, very unbearable. Like, it's, it's very difficult. Anybody that will tell you out there that it's... <laughs> you know, difficult to... It's very difficult. The person is lying. It's very difficult. But trust me, with time, you get to smile over it. Like, yeah. when you see your baby smile and call you <laughs> papa, you, even if there's no food to eat, only that joy alone will, will quench the taste of hunger in your stomach. Oh, your that is, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's one thing people don't understand. They always, one thing about men and why men run away there, at times they fear and they will think that, ah, how won't you stay take care of this man? I yeah, I don't right? have it. Your yeah, you know some men, so yeah, some yeah, so your men are proud in nature. They, 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 how they want they think say they don't get money to give you. How they want you to look your face the next morning if they don't get money to give you the respect and everything. Like they, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are, like they are emotionally feeling deranged. Mm. because of this particular issue so they will feel like the best thing is to so run to away disappear, or to not disappear be not be there but it's yeah yeah, yeah. but one thing you guys don't know is women love it when you pass through them with that same process that mm -hmm. is one thing you don't know if, even if you can't call even if you can't see them suffer, see them suffer. You you're you there with them the at least even it's if good. you're telling them my wife you're trying so don't worry yeah. oh god in my oh, oh you're going to gonna be fine don't worry, God will see us through. Women love that. That's and even if you don't give her anything, you see that thing when they talk, that particular thing you're saying, ha. Huh? So he's parents. taking her, he's taking her everywhere. Hey. So don't run away. You have to stay there, not show your baby, make them feel loved. Because there's see, there's more to happiness than more to money. Mm. Because some people have money and they don't have happiness. The the home that there's even happiness is home that there's no lot of money. Mm. But money is good though. Don't judge me. Don't try money it. is good, Don't but money is good. No, say you, you define happiness, don't find money. Mm, <laughs> money, for look for the both of them because it will balance. It will make the equation to be balanced. Yeah. So from time to time, you still go home to Cape Coast. Cape Coast. Yeah. And um, are you like, you have like Ghana card or Nigerian NYN? Which one do you have? I have Ghana card. I have the boat. Okay, you have the boat. That's what it feels like to nationality. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> on my face. Okay, nah. So if you want to travel out, nah, if you want to hold a passport, yeah, which are you going to go for? Uh, Ghana. 
Why? Nigeria is Nigeria. No, 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 no. So wait, oh, is it because we can't get a visa? I don't understand. Like this gave. Is it because our own? <laughs> is it because our own? You can't get visa. Or I what? love Nigeria, but eh. Uh, you love Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. There's a boat. Just there's a boat. Let's leave it there. Please, if you have, <laughs> uh, if if you're in Nigeria and you have a child with a Ghanaian, don't hide. Don't go through the stress of raising that child alone. Va, vasa. Yeah. There are a lot of kids in Ghana that are born to Nigerian men. And these people are out there acting like the kids don't exist. And you are leaving the woman to suffer alone. This is not just about uh, Ghana alone. And then you waiting there to say, okay, see this one. He have come back to her father. My own two will come. It's not true. This her own. Her dad made a level of sacrifice to win her trust back. So in case you see this and you want to be relaxed because of this, I'll tell you no, it's not the best decision. Go for it. F confront your fear by going to look for your child today. And whatever treatment is given to you when you get there, don't just give up. Like Faithful, her dad, yeah, yeah you see in your case, your dad came there more than yeah, three right. times yeah. before that particular day that he came and he succeeded because each time he came, they'll hide you. Each time he comes, they'll hide you. Each time he comes, they'll hide you. But that particular day, when he came, he saw you and then things changed. So do not give up on reconciliation and reunion today. And my advice, so what do you have to say to those girls that have been chatting me to help them connect with their Nigerian father? They will see this video for sure. I am sure. Tell them something. I don't really know. It's going to be really difficult because I don't know your story. Okay. But I will just say don't give up. So they should continue yeah, looking for their dad? They, yeah, don't give up. And if you know his name, mm. or if you can have an idea of where he has lived before, or where he's currently living, because your mom can make mention of it maybe once mm. without she knowing, then you can go and look for him. Definitely you will find So, but I will say don't, don't give up. Okay, so they should continue looking for Me, yeah. I don't want to get involved. I know that if I get involved, I'll help them. I'll get it. I'll get the man. As long as he's a Nigerian. Okay. And according to them, he's a Yoba man. I will get the man. They even said Ogun State. I will get the man. Uh, I they know the state. You uh, know what I want? Just like you said, you don't know their story. I don't know their story. I don't know the level of pain that the mother may have gone through. And then me wanting to help these kids to reconnect. Why, why, why not? Me. No, I beg. It may miss me encouraging bad behavior. But what, 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 be, what bad <laughs> You're just okay. jealous. So it's not like bad behavior yeah, there. I'm, I'm, I'm for moms. You get it because I'm one. Look I'm and you father. know they should look for their dad. Yeah, it's the father that puts the the, the thing there. So the, the baby's children. Don't are you mostly, know that if you keep something and you don't take care of it, it children will are mostly for it men, will... not for women. So just look. That's why that's why you can answer your father's name, and it's not normal to answer your mother's name. So look for your father. Okay, okay, so darling faithful thank you for coming on the channel oh, i appreciate you me. thank you so much <laughs> keep being a good girl ah huh? thank you so guys thank you for watching this video i'll see you in my next one bye